Hey there. So recently I've been getting into fishing and I found a cool kind of subscription box, a new one, um, that I'm going to test out for a little bit and uh, we'll review that. It is Mystery Tackle Box. So you can go mysterytacklebox.com and let's dig into it and find out what we have. First off, let's just look at the packaging other than this postage sticker they put there. This packaging is pretty cool. I, I like it. Oh, what's going on here? It says unfold, unfold. All right, so it has a uh, measuring tape here. I'm guessing um, they're assuming you would just take this whole box out to go fishing and then you could measure it there. Um, catch and win. Catch a fish using one of the baits in this box. Oh, using one of the baits in this box. Catch a fish. Measure. Use the ruler to see if you have a keeper and share. Share a picture of your fish on Instagram using the hashtag MTB keeper. So mystery tackle box keeper. Um, that's cool. So the keeper requirements for the contest entry for panfish, six inch, for trout, 12, bass, 14, walleye, 16, everything else, 18, which would be right there. Um, challenge accepted, mystery tackle box. Uh, I'm gonna go for trout and uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, so the first thing I just pulled out of here is a reaction strike bow spin. It is a spinner bait. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, two and a half inches, one eighth ounce. That looks like it would catch some trout. The next thing I'm pulling out here is, ooh, tournament grade. What is this? Strike Pro. And it is a little tiny, like, crankbait with a little lip there. You can see it? That's cool. Another spinner. This is dynamic micro spin bait, one eighth ounce. Let's see if we can get some good visual of it there. So it has like a tinsel rooster tail on it. It has a golden spinner, a little gold look to it. Um, and it is a single hook. We have Crap Slap, Cast Cray Crap Slap, durable and coffee scented, made in the USA. These are like little, little grubs, little uh, curl tail grubs on there. I think that's Crap Slap is what it is, <laughs> like a crappie. Um, that's cool, more styles and colors at castcray.com. Floating Trout Slug. These look similar to a uh, power bait um, mice tails. That's what they remind me of. Except for these have a flattened tail at the end right there. So it tapers down cylindrically to a tapered flat tail. Um, looks cool. I like it. This one is specifically, this says MT, you know, mystery tackle box, happy fishing. This is an exclusive. Um, the distributor is Lucky John USA, luckyjohn.info. So that's cool. Uh, what do we have here? Dibble, fishing tips and tricks by Carl Von Dibble. What is a wacky rig? How to get confident with a new lure or rig. Two unusual ways to target giant panfish. Five trolling tactics for tanker walleye. This is cool, a little magazine here. Tips for fishing saltwater spoons. Uh, what does that say? That just said, um, oh, for talking about the retrieve on it. 
Should we target spawning panfish? Oh, this is just a nice little informational booklet. This is what's inside. So this, I, I got the panfish and trout box um, and I believe it was 10 bucks for it. This, this box was 10 bucks. So the strike Pro Baby Pro was $6.99, the Dynamic Lures Micro Spin Nate $4.95, the uh, Crap Slap Mini Grubs $3.99, Reaction Strike Bow Spin $3.99, and the Lucky John Trout Slugs also $3.99. So definitely, in my mind, that first box was worth it. What else do we have here? Carl's Beard Contest. Post your best impression of Carl by taking a selfie with this beard and sharing it with the world. We will pick our favorite impersonations and reshare them on Mystery Tackle Box Instagram or Twitter. So it tells you it also has instructions on how to enter. So apparently Kyle, or Carl, <laughs> Carl has a beard. And if I take a picture with my with my Carl beard here, um, I would do it with this. I would do a two-in-one with the entry and my Carl beard. Um, and it also comes with a sticker. So, Catch Co. And it has a, uh, it looks like a bass fighting a spinner bait. And uh, that's, that's pretty cool and fun. Um, first impressions on the first box I've received. This, to me, was worth the, the 10 bucks that I spent. I think maybe 10.99, 9.99, 10.99, whatever it was, for that a month, and all the different lures and baits that I just got in this box, um, I would have probably spent $20 at the store with some of this stuff, and I didn't even have to worry about it, and that, but it was, it's, Kind of challenging too, because they're, they're giving you a challenge, really. They're saying, hey, go catch stuff with this. Um, and you can win things. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I, I'm i interested in it, um, getting more of these boxes. After the first box, definitely interested in getting more of these boxes. Um, I like this so far more than I enjoyed the Cairn boxes with uh, back backpacking camping equipment because in those boxes I was paying um, close to $40 and getting three items um, and like one of the items most of the time wasn't even like a good item it wasn't even worth it and those items were like items you could find on Amazon or anywhere else for five to ten dollars you know so like you're almost paying more for them to curate that box for you and be disappointed whereas this i'm paying less than what these items cost and they're curating cool little boxes for me and um giving me things that i don't have from brands that i don't know that aren't carried in stores so you go you go to walmart you have your power bait you know by berkeley you have uh rebel uh, Repel, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other, like, very common lure brands that you would find out there. I've never seen any of these brands out there, and that's kind of cool and exciting, um, which makes me, you know, want to take interest in some other brands out there that I don't know about, uh, and maybe support a smaller fishing company that way. Um, very pleased. First box. Very pleased, I thought that was cool. Worth the $10 in my mind all day long. So we'll see um, in another month how the second box comes. Um, and we'll do it like I did my other subscriptions of three. And uh, first box so far, good. So we'll see what the second one is and the third one. And by the end of all three, we'll wrap it up and see if the subscription itself is worth it. Um, I'm happy and glad to put all of this in my tackle box and try to catch fish with it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.